Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Wheel of the Dragon Whisperer with another video for the channel and I'm super excited to announce you guys, our voices have been heard and Johan Marais has reached out to Dingo Dinkelman in the hopes that maybe they can bring back Dingo's channel. So this video we're going to be talking about the response and first of all I want to say that I have never been contacted by Dingo in any way. Um, this was something that I decided to do. Uh, I was really bothered by what happened to his channel. He's one of my biggest mentors. And Dingo did not encourage me to do this. And I want to reiterate that I've asked everyone to not send anything threatening or, or anything like that to Mr. Moraes. I just wanted people to reach out and let them know how your feelings were. Also in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys these two awesome setups behind me and the two animals that are inside of there that I just picked up yesterday. Day. Thank you very much to my father who helped me get these animals and big shout outs to AHP Exotics. If you guys are in the North Carolina, South Carolina area and you're looking for a quality animal and you don't know where to get it from, talk to Bill at AHP Exotics. You can find him on the internet or you can find him on Facebook. Reach out to him. He's an excellent guy. He can take care of all your reptile needs if it's something that we don't carry at Tar Heel Exotics. Also, another big shout out to the gentleman that I got these animals from. Not going to say his name, but thank you so much. These animals are incredible. They're beautiful. Their setups are amazing. And we're going to be talking about them in the video. Third shout I want to give out is to the Gecko Don. This guy's been an immense amount of knowledge about New Caledonia species. You guys go hit him up on Instagram. Go see him at a show, The Gecko Don. DJ is an awesome, amazing guy, and his knowledge of New Caledonia species is um, um, immense. So any questions you could have about those species, DJ can help you. So we're going to jump into the video, guys. I'm going to show you some emails I got back from the African Snake Bite Institute, and we're going to talk about everything that's happened to Dingo's channel and what's going to be happening moving forward and show you these amazing animals. Let's hit the road. Roads. We don't need roads. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to cover this with you guys in this video. So, when I made my recent video talking about the copyright strikes made on Dingo Dingleman's channel, I do want to clarify a few things. First of all, there were other photographers and other people involved, but two of the three copyright strikes came from Johan Marais. That is factual information. And the fact that those strikes were put together in a three month period which is the YouTube threshold for a permanent ban that definitely was the work of Johan Marais now obviously as you guys can see I was fired back an email from the African Snakebite Institute and it was not by Mr. Marais which I would think if he was big enough or man enough he would have responded personally but one of his secretaries or underlings or uh assistance they fired back this email to me and I want you guys to see some of the wording in this email Now, I highlighted some of the wording in the letter, and the letter basically says that it wasn't Mr. Moray's. There was multiple parties involved in this, but the reality of the situation is if you watch Kevin McCurley's live Instagram video he did with Dingo, Dingo says in his own words that he called Mr. Murray personally. He acquired his phone number and dialed this man up personally on the phone, and Mr. Murray's only response to Dingo was, talk to my lawyers. Now, after all this feedback, and obviously it's been a great deal, or they would not have fired off an email response to a small guy like me. And I've got a pretty good idea that they tried to have my video taken down, but there was no information in there that was not true. And I didn't slander Mr. Marais or call him any names or use any profanity. So YouTube really didn't have any justification. So not only has my video stayed up, but it's almost at 500 views now, which means a lot of people have watched it and it probably reached out to Mr. Marais. Now I want to give a big shout out to Donnie from Nerd. He's the one that really brought this information to light. You did 
Bingo did not want this man to be, um, you know, assaulted on the internet or for people to troll him. So Dingo was man enough and took the high road and didn't even give this information out. But Donnie from Nerd um, and Kevin McCurley, uh, specifically Donnie, was the first one to bring this information to light. And I want to give a big shout out, oh, all that credit to him. He was the reason why I decided to make my video. And um, and you guys should definitely go and check that out if you haven't seen it. And also Dingo made a great Instagram video today. Um, him and Mr. Murray's have spoke at this point. That's how I know that our voices were heard and we made an impact. They're in talks now to have the copyright strikes taken down and Dingo's channel to be restored. So that's that's a great, great thing that we've helped accomplish. Um, maybe the people from this channel didn't do quite as much, obviously, as the people from Nerd and the people that responded to Donnie's video. But big shout outs and thank you guys for everybody that responded and helped uh, whatever we could help do to bring Dingo's channel back. Now, you guys, he just jumped when he heard my voice, but I really wanted you guys to meet Louie. Um, he is a recent rescue uh, here at the Reptile Room. Um, when I went to my local PetSmart, they told me that uh, they had a leopard gecko that they had found in the store. They could not sell it or list it as a PetSmart animal or guarantee it. Uh, so they needed someone to rehome it. So they knew I come in there all the time, and I have tons of reptiles and plenty of knowledge. So... Uh, they just gave me Louie. I didn't pay anything for Louie. They were actually looking for me to come in the store in the next few days so they could tell me about Louie. Um, but he didn't have a name when I found him, but I have named him Louie. And the reason is because I stumbled upon an incredibly neat channel called Life with Louie, L-E-W-Y. I want you guys to check it out. Hit him up. Uh, subscribe. Comment on his videos. Smash the like button when you watch him. Um, and by his own words, Louis is a little person and he is one of the coolest, amazing, most dynamic, energetic guys I've ever seen in a, in a YouTube video. Uh, his knowledge of his animals is incredible. He has a freaking pet deer that lives on his porch. I mean, the deer is free to roam, roam and go when it comes, come and go when it pleases. I can't even talk. I'm so excited about how cool Louis is, but you guys need to check his channel out. He's just getting started and, uh, please smash his, let's, let's blow Blow his subscriber count out. Um, let's, everybody from Charlie Exotics uh, and Dragon Whisper, uh, let's go over there and make Louis's channel explode. So big shout out to you, Louis, and uh, I've named this guy after you. And uh, hopefully, you guys will watch as Louis continues to grow here in the reptile room. Okay, guys, now I know you've seen some footage of him already in the video, but this is Shrek, my male Lichianus gecko I recently acquired, and he was produced at Leapin' Lichies. So I'm really awesome to be starting my Lichianus breeding with a gecko that came from Leapin' Lichies. And this beautiful female that's got her little hoodie on as she's going into shed is Fiona. Now, Fiona has actually been with a couple of individuals before I was able to acquire her, but she was produced by Gabby and Brett at Morph Menagerie. If you don't know about Morph Menagerie, please check them out on Facebook, Instagram. They're out of Raleigh, North Carolina. They do a lot of the local shows in Raleigh and uh, area in North Carolina, and these guys are amazing. They're really, really cool people, really easy to talk to. They know their stuff, and they have beautiful, amazing animals. Sometimes they do live auctions on Instagram, so check those out, but these Lichianas are amazing animals, and I'm so happy and glad to add them to the collection, and I can't wait for you guys to watch them grow up. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Once again, this is Will the Dragon Whisperer. In coming weeks, we are going to be changing the name of this channel to Tar Heel Exotics. Um, the business is really starting to grow. The brand is starting to grow. I'm doing a lot of shows and uh, some birthday parties and educational things like that. So uh, just in the interest of being easier for my customers and people at the shows to find my YouTube channel, we are going to be changing the name to Tar Heel Exotics. So if you guys see a notification in your inbox, that's, that's what we're doing here. Dragon Whisperer channel is going to become Tar Heel Exotics channel. So thank you guys so much. Smash that like button. Ring that notification bell. Hope to see you in a future video. And once again, stand up for bullying. All things are small to a giant. Be invincible. Be a T-Rex in your life. I'm out.